A base hit now could get us home. Pats have out hit Boonville six to five now. That is hit into the infield. Pitcher is going to be the catcher. He misses it. And that's the pitcher's play. That's a that and it's harder for the catcher to make than anybody out there. And, and you know what it did? Those are the kind of things when you give a guy like Cody Morton an extra an extra spot. Yeah, well, right now, a, a base hit would do that. There's nobody out but Jack Allbrand at second base. Ninth inning behind the plate. Possibly fatigue, I don't know. But two straight missed. Wynan looks the runner back at second base. Alan Canese has done a good job in relief, but we... Relief pitchers have done the job. But I can't imagine laying down a better bunt than Jack laid down right there. But about 15 feet down the third base line and croaked. And the third baseman was playing back. He never, he never, he made a pretty good play. Pitcher, yes. And never had a chance. Actually, Canise made a pretty good play on it. They're going to try to butt again, and that's foul down the third base line. Morton, two strikes. Cody's a pretty good butter himself. And it stays with no balls and two strikes. And Morton, Morton has really good speed. Cody can get it down. That looked like more of a drag punt. Get on. On the third, third baseman, four is playing deep, but with two strikes, that lessens the probability. And he's set. Here's the other pitch. High and outside, one and two. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Two errors on the night for the Pioneers. All brand a pretty good lead at second base. And he's hit into right field. That's what he's going to try to do as the throw to third base will not be in time as Reinhardt gets it in. But now the potential winning run is at third base with one out. And when that is the case, a, a whole lot of different stuff. He's probably going to do it. Ready for the Wildcats, the shortstop, number four. I would, you know, I would do it. I would do that too. And Hanky's going to walk. Ready for Jasper, third baseman, number 24, Connor Foley. And it will be uh, Hanky and Foley both intentionally walked, which will bring Drew Bradley to the plate. Bring up Drew Bradley with the bases loaded. So the bases are full. Bradley was not And Bradley will come to the plate. Two guys in front of him. Yeah, we need to get the one home, and he may pinch in here. So the base is loaded. Bradley coming out. Batting for the Wildcats. The catcher. The catcher, number 11, Drew Bradley. Right. Bradley coming to the plate. Oh, oh my gosh. Although oh, there was time. Have you ever seen it work? Not in high school. I think it worked in college. Yeah. I think I pretty much is given him the call in the picture. Go to the mound. He can't be on the mound and then you do that. That's not I saw it work him, I think, having in a Heartland League game. That tells you how long ago that's been. That was. Wow. Probably 95 or 96. That's a balk in the catch. That's a balk. He balked in the catch. He's going to win the ball game. It is a two to one Jasper win on the balk. And it, well, you can, but you can't win the ball game that way. That's it. 